Hello everyone. My name is Madhav Dosad and welcome to Gyan Shalav Namaste. Today we will be talking about that why is the color blue so rare in the nature. Now you might think I'm stupid for saying this because the sky and the sea are both blue, but not I am talking about the non-living things. I'm talking about the animal kingdom. So now we will talk about the animal kingdom. So let us start with it. So why is the color blue so rare? So it is because that most of the animals do not contain the blue pigment in the skin and cannot uh, make also the blue pigment and they cannot gain the color by eating different substances also. Now this basically means that they cannot uh, gather the pink color like that only by eating or by genes. So some uh, Animals are still blue color. So why is that? But first, we will talk about that. How the color changes with eating. So you may have seen in many facts that the pink flamingos are actually gray. So why is that? The flamingos are born gray, but they eat crustaceans and the pigment in crustacean uh, triggers the pink color. So that's why they are called the pink flamingo and they turn pink color. So this is the science behind that we can change the color of the substance or the pigment or our skin by just eating. So now we will talk about that some butterflies are of blue color. So how is that? So the butterflies are of blue color not because of the pigment but because of the reflection of light. So this is true that the animals cannot make the blue pigment. But there is only one species in the entire animal kingdom which is discovered till now. It can be, there can be more animals but the animal kingdom which is discovered till now there is only one species of butterfly that is able to make the blue color naturally. And we still don't know how it makes it but it has the blue pigment in it. So what I was talking about is the blue morpho butterfly which, uh, which has blue color wings but not because of pigment but because of the reflection of light and the one i am talking about the the one which naturally wakes the blue color is the olive wings butterfly so first we will talk about the blue morpho butterfly since it's the most interesting one so how can there be blue light with re reflection now you may have seen my previous videos in which i've clearly told that reflection of light makes us see colors so how is this possible that if there is no blue pigment then how is the light being reaching to our eyes and appear to us as blue so it is like that the butterfly wings when we zoom them they are made up of scales and the scales when we zoom them more they appear to us as tiny christmas trees and there are mirror like substances which block other lights so you know that your light comes in the form of white light so whenever they reflect you know that the light which uh, the one absorbs and the one which reflects are both different so the one which uh, the pig the substance absorbs we cannot see that but the one which it reflects we can see that but here in this thing the other colors of light are being absorbed and only red and green are absorbed basically all the other blue and uh, sorry not blue violet and indigo and these uh, colors they get distorted so they do not reach our eyes but the blue has the specific wavelength which allows it to uh, easily reflect through and reach our eyes so the, it is not about reflecting or uh, something like that it is just about that the others are being absorbed and are being distorted and the only one that is reaching our eyes is the blue color so that's why we see the blue morpho butterflies wings the blue color so now you know that why the blue color is so rare in nature because the blue color cannot be made naturally the only Oh, blue color the only butterfly or any living thing which is able which is able to make the blue color is the olive wings butterfly 
So hope you like this video. If you liked it, please share it and please subscribe to the channel also. Bye.